good. Bring his head a little bit lower and then a tiny bit more leg. Because as we pick up on the reins, they always lose their speed. That's good. Yep. And then just sit up nice and tall. If your arms get tired, your reins can be longer than that too. Yep. And then his head will go up and down. So sometimes people think their arms need to go back and forth with them. They don't. Your arms just want to stay still. And he does that motion. Is his head going up and down? Yep. You might not feel it, but it is. I no, and I took some videos because that way you'll get to see it. Yep. So it looks good. His head's still a little bit too high. That's better. Yep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep that rhythm. He slowed down. He's like, stop telling her. <laughs> yep. And then just keep kind of looking up ahead. So your chin's up a little bit higher. One, two, three, four. A little bit faster, just a tiny bit. And that's the hard part is just increasing their energy just a little. Good. Now see if you can get his head back down. That's better. Yep. Good. You're doing great. Yep. And anytime it's good, release a little bit. Yep. Look over his head and straighten him back out. You were staring down at his head. Now pull the right rein hard. Yep, get him right back where he was. Now go backwards. So look over his head and lean back. Yep, don't bring your legs back so far though. That's it, yep. Just lean back with your upper body as you do it. And look over his head. Yep, now your leg's back too far. <laughs> yep, it's going almost in his groin. Yep, it's on video. <laughs> Yep, so that's better. Good. Now go back to your flat walk. Good. So it's definitely bothering my back a little. Is it? Yep. And I don't know if it's because of the motion or because it's got a little small for my big bear. Yeah, it could be either. Now he's too fast. There you go. It'll be down. Yep but it's a faster walk. That's it, right there. Don't go any faster. Yep, see how he kind of went past it? He started going more towards a step pace or a rack. Yep, so that's a good walk. Yep, just don't let his head get any higher, but it's fine right now. Yep, yep. So each time you get to the gate, because it's before run, add more leg. Yep, so that way he knows to keep paying attention to you and not look out there. Yep, don't go any faster, yep. And always remember, breathe first, then pull. And be careful as you pull that you don't squeeze too much with your leg. Because when you pulled there, you kind of dug your leg into them a lot. Yeah, I did. Yep. A little faster. So you're at the gate. Leg, leg, leg. There you go. Yep. So they'll always pause like in the same spot. So all you got to do is catch it ahead of time. Now his head's a little too high and he's picking up more speed. Yep. And remember, breathe first, then your range. Yep, and then just go forward again if he slowed down too much. And it's fine, because it takes time to get, like, what is the horse thinking and how much pressure do I have to do to get this stuff too fast? Yep, so whatever leg you just gave, give a little less for it. That's good. That's perfect. Yep. And then you can always cluck, too, if you need to. Like, you need a little bit more energy, but you don't want to use your leg. Just a little cluck. That's too fast. Yep, and his head's up too high. Yep, uh, you're good. So boy, so when he's good, you can tell him or breathe. Yep, now too fast. Yep, so left leg. So you gotta bring his head down a little bit more. So more pressure. That's good. So if you could keep that, that's perfect, but I know that's hard. <laughs> So now it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I got a dumb bee next to me. Tell people, talk to yourself and try, you know, try to talk yourself into relaxing. He's not going to go anywhere because you're just in a circle. 
Okay, so go a little slower before you ask him. Yeah, and then when you're ready, just ask him. But sit back and don't lean forward. Let go of his head. Yep. Now think, if he gets fast, pull hard, but then let go. Now it looks a little bit like a death grip again. Yep. So, I'm not, yeah. I'm yep. Well, then relax your arms. There you go. Breathe. Easy. Easy. Tell him slower. There you go. That's good. Now walk. So, whoa, all the way to a walk. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Sit. Yep. All the way to a walk. Walk, walk. You're gating. Yep. Okay. So when you bring him down, he doesn't get five steps of gating. It's canter, walk. Does that make sense? Yep. Because he's a pleaser. Yep. What's that? He's trying to please you, so he's get like, I'm ready if you're ready. So soft with your hand. Now talk to him. That's perfect. Don't go any faster. Easy. Yep. You look like you're leaning. So see if your body is leaning and then talk to your horse. Easy. Easy. Yep. So there it looked like a death grip for like five steps. So pull real hard, but then let go. Pull. Go ahead and pull on him. Now let go. Now let go. Now pull. Now let go. Yep. Easy. Talk to him. Slower. Slower. Now walk, because that's a good step. Whoa. Whoa. So shut him down. Lean back and pull as hard as you can. Whoa. Sit. There you go. That was it. You don't want them falling into gait, because again, if their legs are going all over, that's when they get trippy. So it's canter and then walk, especially since he's in the beginning stages. Yep. Good. Now breathe. Lean to your, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So he popped his lead. Yep. So just walk. Don't make a big deal of it. You're going to try it again. Yep. Oh, so stop him and let me check it. Easy. Easy. Stay to the inside. Let, oh, whoa. So you're pulling too hard. Oh. Yep. So he can or, yeah, it probably jammed your back, right? Yep. But you're pulling too hard on his mouth and it, it made him lose his balance. Yep. And then think of breathing and relaxing and kind of just sitting and letting him do the work. So just leave him alone. Let him go. You're pulling on him. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Now walk. Whoa. See how big a difference it is? So he went slow and you you didn't you started messing with his mouth right in the beginning and I said let go and you let him go and then he was